Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to draw a labelled box plot in R. So to illustrate how we draw a labelled box plot, I'm going to use the R inbuilt iris data set. So on line four, I've just got the iris data set name listed. So when I run that command, we can see that we get 150 records of um, uh, details about the iris data set that we have in R. If I just run the take a look at the first six lines and run the head function, we can see that we have our five variables as we should be familiar with, sepal length and width, petal length and width, and species. And let's say, for example, I wanted to draw a box plot of all of the sepal lengths uh, in the iris data set. So a box plot is a great way of showing how data are distributed in a data set. So um, let's go ahead and draw a box plot for the iris sepal length. So the function I'm going to use is simply called boxplot. There are many others, but uh, boxplot is the simplest one. And I'm going to just uh, pull out the iris uh, dollar sign, dollar sign sepal length. L-E-M-G-T-H, sepal length. And when I um, uh, run this function, we can see over on our right hand side here that we get a box plot. Um, let me zoom in using our studios inbuilt zoom function here. And we can we see that we get a nice box plot with very evenly distributed. We've got our upper and lowercase boundaries. We've got our middle quadrants here with a dark line representing our median. We don't have anything listed on the x-axis and the y-axis is got numbers but doesn't have any labels on it. So it's very simple to draw a box plot, but um, adding in uh, labels then is something a little bit different. So let's go ahead and see what we can do with this box plot. So the first thing I might want to do is um, I've got the default uh, orientation of the box plot is that it's vertical. If I want it to be horizontal, uh, let's see how we do that. Box plot, it's the same command again. Rs dollar sign SEPAL dot length and a comma. And I can use the horizontal parameter equal to true. And that should show up in blue. When I run this, all it does is it flips around the box plot. So you choose whether you want it to be vertical or horizontal, depending on the layout of your documentation and so on. What if I wanted to plot all four um, variables that are in this data set? Remember, there are five variables in the data set, but one of those is species. So we can't use that in a box plot because it's just text. So let's go ahead and plot the other, the, all four of the um, sepal length, uh, width, petal length and width on, in a box plot. So we have four box plots in our data set. Okay, so here we go again, box plot. And I'm going to, first of all, do the iris sepal dot length. I'm going to spread these out on a line just to illustrate them a little bit more clearly. Iris um, dollar sign sepal dot width, comma. Um, then we're go uh, going to do iris dollar sign petal dot length, comma, and finally, iris dollar sign petal dot width. So these are the four variables in the data set. So I should, when I run this, get a box plot with uh, four diagrams on it. So we can see it's a bit squished here. So I'm going to zoom in on this. And we can see that we get uh, our box plots showing the different variations between uh, the four variables in the data set. Uh, in this box plot, uh, there's the uh, um, petal uh, sepal length that we've already seen. We've added in sepal width. We can see there are circles on it, which indicate that there are outliers in that data set. Uh, the petal length is a little bit more spread out with the median very, very high. And the petal width is very, is that has all of the lowest values down here. We can see um, that the um, uh, while uh, the labels here are not labeled, um, the different uh, the different variables are labeled one, two, three, and four. So we should be able to make that uh, um, to show which species is being shown. So let's close that down and move down to the uh, continue to build up this diagram. So and if, if I want to um, uh, plot by species, uh, so I'm, let's do a box plot of the iris. I'm going to choose the uh, sepal, sepal length again. Uh, and then this time use the tilde symbol. So this tilde symbol is over the um, hashtag key on my keyboard, um, which is a Windows keyboard. So sepal length, sepal dot length, uh, tilde species. Remember, this must be spelt correctly. 
So we're, so we're, we're, we're going to plot the sepal length by species. And we also need to, to tell Boxplot where the data is coming from. So we say use the data parameter, data is equal to the iris data set. So watch out for the spelling in all of this here. So we're box plotting. We're going to do this for iris the sepal length. Um, there are three different species in, in here. So uh, let's, uh, we want to separate these out. It's like creating a subset. And we need to, uh, for the box plot function, indicate what the data set is. So let me run this. And we can see that in our diagram, I'm going to zoom in. We can see here that we're getting our uh, box plots for sepal length on the left, on the on the y-axis. We can see uh, the uh, sepal length for the setosa is smaller than for the versicolor, is smaller than the virginica. We can see that there's a little bit of overlap between the box plots. And we can also see that there's an outlier here in the virginica species. So that's a nice way of comparing the three box plots uh, when you have three different uh, subsets in your data set. So you could equally plot these um, separately, but it's nice to have all three in one diagram. And if I want to add some titles and colors onto this diagram, so let me um, copy this line of code and build, build it up with a little bit more parameters. Copy and paste. I'm just going to go to the very end of the code here before the last bracket, put in a, a comma and move down to the next line. This can all be done on the same line, but I'm just moving it down so we can see it. So we want to have a main heading on this. So the parameter is main uh, is equal to, and in inverted commas, whatever you want the, to represent the title of your diagram. I'm just for going to call this iris data. After the inverted commas, put in another comma and press enter. Uh, I need a name on my X label. Uh, we can see in our diagram over here on the right-hand side that we have uh, the variable name iris dollar sign sepal dot length. So I want that to be a little bit more meaningful, again, if I'm putting this into a report. So YLAB is equal to an inverted commas, whatever you want this to be. I'm just going to put out simple sepal L-E-N-G-T-H. T-H, correct my typo. And um, after that, let's add in a color into this. Color is equal to, uh, this time I'm going to do red. Uh, so, okay, so I've added in a main heading, a, a sepal length as the Y label, and the color is of the diagram should be red. So let's run this. We can see we've got our over a bit, a bit squashed over here. So let me zoom in on it. And we can see that we have a diagram uh, with the, our tree box plots. Uh, we've seen this box plot before, but we've now added in a main heading, iris data. We've got a, a X label for species to tell us which of the three species they are. And we've also got a Y label over here on the left-hand side, sepal length, and the values are automatically plotted, as are the species names by the box plot function. So that's how you draw a labeled box plot in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.